Hello. Nice here. Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. In the last part, we found and entered the Den of Behemoths. In between parts, nothing. Except for recording episode one of the LP that's gonna follow this. Because I feel like this is getting close, wanted to make sure it worked, you know. <laughs> episode two will not be recorded until episode one is up, so... <laughs> Hopefully I don't forget everything. I feel like I just said that, because I did. Well, something to that gist. Also, did I ever... Can probably put this back on. <laughs> Let's see. Where's that map marker I put down? Right there, okay. See so yeah, how we got Accelerator, which I kept calling Black panther because it is speeds us up but not loading but yeah we're, we're just headed right back in So, uh, the map's not actually showing the downward connection. I know it was to the left, but that's a little weird. Big dudes. Your most powerful attack is still moving backward and forward. No, oh, hi. You don't go flying when I hit you. Your large size, though, makes apparently my favorite spell in the game way better than against the average target. The <laughs> gigantic MP Max. Also a demon heart. Yeah. Okay, I can invert in the air. Oh hey! It's an abyssal guardian. Okay, it's dead. So those do drop something that's needed to upgrade one of the stat up things, I remember. I feel like upgrading the stat up things is more to get their rank 9 bonus than to actually get like a few stat points. I guess if you get them all the way to rank 9, they're actually pretty good. 9 isn't like nothing on stats, considering our strength is just 58. Two waystones and a diamond. <laughs> that knocks these bats back. I think it would outright kill the small bats from like the beginning of the game. Five gunpowders, a flame cannon. For some reason they drop their stuff in front of them a fair distance. Don't have any reason to prefer not prefer this direction. Gotta choose some way. Wait, what's my... <laughs> yeah, let's maybe not have Alchemic Bounty equipped. 
I don't know, regenerate sounds good, get six per tick instead of three. Over the course of an exploration, that could be a lot of health, because we're not even going to constantly be in battle. Two more waystones. Wait, can I...? Uh, okay, it looked almost like there was a gap there. Four Moko leaks. So they can drop multiples of stuff. Gigantic books! Two months have passed. The church vanquished the demons, but too much human life had been lost. Once it was found we had a hand in the affair, my superiors were executed, and the guild left crippled. Alchemy's principle held. We sacrificed everything and gained just as much misery. Only by some miracle was my life spared. Jebel did not die in the ritual. He is here. Flanked by demons, he delivers judgment to the alchemists. My own punishment has come, and it will be far worse than the others. To the shardbinders who died at my hands, forgive me. And to you, my dear friend Alfred, I should have listened. May God have mercy on me. I'm still not sure who wrote these books. I guess I had been thinking Jeebel and Alfred were two of the candidates. The other one I had in mind was Johannes, just because we knew he was an alchemist. I think that was his name, anyway. Oh wait, no, Jeebel was a shardbinder, he wasn't an alchemist. So it wouldn't have been him. Hey, a save point. But I had not eliminated Alfred at any point. Uh, big. Also, you really can't make this jump natively. Let's put your luck to the test. Let's put your luck to the test. Oh, I was gonna use the millionaire key. Uh. Oop. I was pushing a bunch of buttons, accidentally input the invert. Um. Yep. Double jumped just a little late. Yep, once again. this attack. That's that. Launching the smash coins. Oh, you can kind of see his health, I bet, because of the way the chest empties out. No, it's empty now. He's not dead. He's stealing our money to get health. Is he actually stealing money? I have 1,071 gold. Yeah, he actually steals your money. So, I should... If I lose this, teleport out and spend all my money. I guess I didn't have that much. <laughs> Level up, achievement defeat. Unlocked, all bets are off. Gold bullet, weaponize 1% of your total gold and throw it in the designated direction. And we got our gold back, so yeah, no need to worry about how much was just lost there. Let's hopefully make it back to the save without dying. I guess I could have just stood in the boss chamber for a while to get health, or like used an item. But that would have felt incredibly wasteful to use an item there. Yeah, at this point, I'm hoping to just- oh, you can just walk through that. There was a thousand G. 
And there was another chest in there. Uh, well, it's got luck. Give up five int to get seven luck, also giving up one defense. I mean, it's more total stats. Let's go with it. Not that luck has proved to be too valuable, I think, besides at getting drops. Pretty sure it does something for drops, at least. But yeah, I am giving up actual combat stats to get meta stats, though, essentially. Oh. New shard. Drain. Allows you to sometimes absorb HP when attacking enemies. How sometimes is sometimes? Is it better than... Well, maybe when it triggers, you get the actual value of the attack back in health. Ow. Because it uh, doesn't seem very successful. I don't know, maybe it's triggered and I haven't noticed. But I think uh, rank 9 regenerate is probably better. Er, rank and grade 9. Got a demon eye. Or maybe I should care about that chest that's on the minimap. Uh -huh. Money, demon eye. That guy. Another level up. Didn't I just level? I feel like I just leveled. I guess a, a boss kill was involved. The one drawback to Rigasturama, it only works in enemy hallways. <laughs> Not whenever the terrain is doing something weird. Unfortunately, as a standard Egavania, this game is full of flat surfaces you fight enemies on. Lionlord's Main. That was something that was needed for a thing. Oh, is this a recreation of another area? That well makes me a little suspicious. I forgot they gave a familiar. Because with the way familiars level, I feel like I'm committed once I've used one a lot. This game has a lot of systems that discourage experimentation in your setup. So let's see. Trying to remember, like, what room this room was like to see if I can guess where a save point would be. But I think they may be pulling from a bunch of different areas rather than trying to copy any whole part of the map. Nice. Crystal. I'm low on MP. I should probably stop using the fast movement. Right, another copy of Flame Cannon. Cashmere equipment. Or cashmere, I guess. Inverse. I know, we just had a boss that was all about money. Maybe it is cashmere. It's equipment that is merely made of cash. Inverse. 
Once I got kind of deep in, I was hoping to find a warp so that I could actually go check out the millionaire key. I guess I've been finding waystones. Um. Oh, there was a bot. Wait. Oh, I could probably down A to get through the well. Didn't notice that map exit. Tanking a bunch of damage, because I'm being lazy. Yeah, okay. Change zone. Release Toad. And the heart. I feel like there have been way fewer, like, lights and stuff to break within Den of Behemoths. Glacial Tomb. Well, I'd expect my fire spell to perform well here. Trying to conserve MP against just small enemies, though. Five hundred G. Sure, using a lot of map tiles to do basically nothing. Something feels off about that room. Oh, another bookshelf. <laughs> it's a skill. Can be used with the Zangatsuto, and I think also my current weapon? Alright, so let's... Oh, it's a warp. Nice. There we go. Alright. Millionaire key, though. I'm ready. Now that I'm a 5,000 heir, that's like a millionaire. In dog money. Or something like that. Got 95% map. And the millionaire door has opened to us. Millionaire's room. Uh, Millionaire's Bane is a slot machine. Money hurts. Uh, sevens. Oh wait, I actually got money from that attack. Jackpot. Use a slot machine to determine the nature of your attack. I wonder had I let it live if I could have extracted a lot more money? But uh, anyway, that went well, I guess. Let's let's try our new shard. Jackpot. So did I pick up something else? I think it was covered by something. Uh huh. It's, okay, 14801. I want to make sure it doesn't cost money to use this. Ow. Uh, I got money? I didn't get any, like, notifications of picking it up, but... I, know, I think this is going to be a far more reliable skill. Partially just because of the long delay on the slot machine animation. <laughs> Maybe a little impractical for combat. But yeah, if I'd actually bothered to fill in every square of all those rooms in Den of Behemoth, because I missed large sections of this one, and also a bit of this one, I wonder how much of the map I would have. Uh, 
Let's go with this room that, like, feels like an empty boss room, but I kind of expect, like, the doors to lock and something to happen. No. Like, it had, like, the remnants of maybe a boss door and, you know... It was an empty room. You could see how I would get spooked, right? Axe strike. Produce a giant axe and strike. The enemy with a grievous blow. I guess it's notable that we're back to regularly sized enemies. G Axe Outsider, though. War Horse's key. Okay. I know where that goes. Demon Lord. Fusion Cannon. Oh, it's launching enemies. Fusions. What a surprise. Did he get his axe stuck in the ceiling? I'm surprised that had collision, if so. I guess we're pretty close to a warp now. Maybe I just, like, back out and use my other key? That was the first locked door we ever discovered. He really Frag Rock. I feel like this was a really good sword in one of the Soma Cruz games. A holy sword that mas uh, answers to its master's will. Decent speed, and like the holy damage type is worth something. Ow. Tracer. Even though it does have lower attack power. Oh! Because I could use this to get through without getting stuck in the middle. And then I get stuck. I'm thinking I'll just go until low HP and then waystone out. Oh, there's a save point. I guess low HP's not happening. At least not soon. Well, this episode we've, I believe, explored more than half of the, the map that had been unexplored. Oh, Kashmir. We have recipes for that. Is resaving before fighting a boss just so I don't have to grab the cashmere every time. And we got 0.2% map. I guess we could calculate how many squares the remaining map is since every tile is 0.2%. So let's see. Um, so 1% is 5 tiles. So there are 16 map tiles left in the game? Is that right? Unless it pulls some sort of like 110%. Fool, you just made your last mistake. Did he? Oh. Good luck, Miriam. Hello. You may possess the blade now, but without him to wield it, it poses no real threat to me. Is that so? Wrong, demon. Songetsu's wrath and mine are now one. You used Jibel, and now you will pay! <laughs> Very amusing, wench. I do not have time for this. But, seeing as I need your crystal, you leave me no choice. 
Your wretched plans end here. Bale, King of Kings, must be summoned. Prepare to be brought in line. So that's what this is all about. Alright. I probably don't genuinely need Sangetsudo out, but let's compare damage. Maybe it has some special property. Uh, seems to have guaranteed criticals. Ah, tried to reverse gravity while I was in that last jump. <laughs> My controller is rumbling so much. Yeah, get me now. Oh boy! <laughs> but it does take time to crawl all the way around. That deals some damage. Yep. Yep. The moon is full. Your final hour has come. So I can also break the projectiles with this weapon. Uh okay. Oh, right, of course the hands are part of the boss's hitbox. Why wouldn't they be? Wait, can I just get a guard? Do these moons deal slashing damage of all damage types? Can I, I, yeah, I can't break the red ones. Oh, I can break the other ones with just my foot, though. I wonder if they just die to anything, or if my sword is giving my foot special properties. Oh. Uh. <laughs> turns out I don't have many recovery items. This feels last battle ish, so I'm just dumping stuff. Oh. Achievement locked Moon Scraper. But it's a bronze. Maybe I shouldn't have just dumped all my stuff, especially since I didn't take any more hits, so I wasted like 800 points of recovery. Dimension shift. Warp a short distance in the designated direction. Uh, I almost want to reload and do it again, <laughs> but use no items. But also, like, what was the actual value of those items? It was like 2000 G. I could buy two high potions. Kind of didn't realize how close to the end of the fight we were. Anyway. Dimension shift. What does this allow us to get through? I guess we haven't resolved the little story arc with Dominique. Also, I, I need to know. Can I go through solid objects with this? Nah. Or maybe the cursor wasn't far enough through? I may need a thinner wall. Okay. Oh yeah, there was that wall earlier. Up there. But I don't think we want to try to investigate this episode. Although... At the same time... What if it makes the next one, like, ten minutes? I guess that would be fine, actually. Plus, realistically, I probably need to, like, retreat, resupply... <laughs> you know... Things that a reasonable gamer would do after they use most of their healing items. I guess I can't check the healing value of these. They might have been my best items. <laughs> that are still held in reserve. Yeah, no potions of any kind. I'd sunk them all into the regenerate... Shard. I almost called it a materia. Anyway, <laughs> see ya.